YouTubers, what's up, up and up my eagles? Welcome to ADV Eagle. In this video, I'm gonna do a review about the Ibex 800T, the CF Moto, it's a 2023. Um, this is not just a review, it's a review by an owner. Um, I've been, I've owned this bike for about a little over three months now, and uh, I'm gonna share what I think about it. So in this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over the specs of this machine. Uh, after that, I'll show you all the upgrades that I've done on the machine. And at the end, I'm gonna share my opinion about this uh, motorcycle. Is it worth it or not? Stay tuned to the end to find out. Okay, let's start with CF Moto. About the brand. A brand that's become a significant player in the global power sports industry. Originating from China in 1989, CF Moto began by catering to their local market, but they didn't stop there. Their expansion into their international markets, especially the United States, marks an important chapter in their story. CF Moto is not just another motorcycle manufacturer. They're a company with a vision to offer high quality, affordable vehicles. Their product range is diverse, um, covering motorcycles, ATVs, and utility vehicles. What sets CF Moto apart is their ability to combine quality with affordability, making power sports accessible to a broader audience. As they ventured into the U.S. market, CF Moto adapted to the unique demands and preferences of American riders. Their strategy involved not just selling vehicles, but offering an experience that resonates with the lifestyle and aspirations of their customers. Now let's talk about one of their notable models, the Ibex, known in Europe as the Ibex 800 MT. As an owner of the Ibex, I can give you a first-hand look at this machine, though I'll save my personal opinions for later in this video. An intriguing aspect of the Ibex is its engine, a product of collaboration between CF Moto and the renowned Austrian manufacturer, KTM. This partnership has resulted in an engine that combines KTM's expertise in high performance motors with CF Moto's manufacturing capabilities. It's a blend of European engineering and Chinese efficiency contributing significantly to the bike's performance and reliability. The engine's power is matched by its efficiency, making it suitable for various riding scenarios. Technology-wise, the Ibex is equipped with modern features, including advanced uh, rider aid and pretty sophisticated suspension system. These features aim to enhance the riding experience, focusing on safety and comfort. From an ergonomics perspective, the bike is designed with long rides in mind. The seating and overall design focus on rider comfort as essential aspect for those long journeys. The Ibex has gained a positive response here in the United States, particularly among ADVers. Its arrival in the U.S. has been anticipated, and it represents uh, CF Moto's commitment to expanding their product range to meet the diverse needs of riders. Admittedly, as a uh, potential buyer, the fact that the Ibex is a product of a Chinese manufacturer did give me pause. It's a common concern, you can't blame me, as many um, you know, associate Chinese manufacturing with lower quality. However, after extensive research, I found that this made in China machine defies the stereotype. It's a testament to CF Moto's dedication to quality and reliability, challenging the preconceptions about Chinese made motorcycles. The introduction of the Ibex in the US market. It's a significant move for CF Moto. It showcases their adaptability and their dedication to providing quality, versatile motorcycles to a growing segment of adventure riders. As we explore the Ibex further, it's important to note that this bike is a culmination of CF Moto's efforts to blend performance, technology, and comfort, catering to the needs of modern riders. The Ibex, with its advanced features and competitive pricing, positions itself as a strong contender in the middleweight adventure motorcycle segment. 
It shares several advanced technological features, a powerful engine that's a result of CFMoto's collaboration with KTM, utilizing the 799cc version from KTM's 790 Adventure bike. This bike is CFMoto's most technologically advanced model yet, boasting features like selectable ride modes, ABS, heated seat, heated grips, and much more that I'll go over in this video. It's designed to be comfortable for long distance and efficient in various riding conditions. When compared to its rivals, such as the BMW GS, Ibex offers a compelling value proposition. The GS, known as the queen of ADV, and for its off-road capabilities and electronic ride aids, is priced about three times higher than the Ibex. This makes the Ibex an attractive option for budget-conscious adventurers who do not want to compromise on performance and features. The competitive pricing and feature-rich offering of the Ibex, in my opinion, will definitely impact the market share of established ADV brands like the GS, Africa Twin, and the Tenere. The entry of CF Moto into this segment might prompt these brands to reassess their pricing strategies, hopefully, or at least introduce more competitive features to maintain their market position. CF Moto, the Ibex, is a disruptive force in the adventure motorcycle market. This disruption stems from several key factors. Firstly, the collaboration with KTM in engine development brings a level of performance and reliability that challenges the stereotype of Chinese manufacturing in the power sports industry. Secondly, the Ibex offers a combination of features, including advanced technology and comfort at a price point that's more accessible than its competitors. This makes adventure touring more attainable for a broader range of riders. Furthermore, the Ibex design and capabilities cater to both on-road and off-road adventures, making it a versatile choice for riders looking for a multifaceted motorcycle. This versatility combined with its competitive pricing positions the Ibex as a strong contender that could potentially shift consumers' preferences and buying patterns within the segment. In essence, the Ibex challenges the status quo of the adventure motorcycle market, offering a compelling alternative that balances cost, performance, and versatility. This could lead to a reshaping of market dynamics, especially in attracting riders who are seeking high-quality adventure experience without premium price tag of some established brands. Now let's talk specs. The CF Moto Ibex 800T is equipped with a 799cc liquid cooled inline twin engine, delivering a powerful performance with 94 horsepower and a 56.8 pound feet of torque. The compact engine size enhances the bike's low center of gravity. It features a modern 7-inch TFT full-color instrument cluster with Bluetooth connectivity for smartphone integration, but it's not all that great, and I'm gonna talk about it later. The bike offers adjustable widescreen, LED lighting, bi-directional quick shifter for seamless gear changes. It also has a Bosch EFI system, two ride modes, rain and sport, cruise control, which is a bliss for long rides, and high quality J. Juan braking components. The bike's chassis includes a KYB suspension with front and rear adjustability and tubeless cross spoke rims for impact resistance. The Ibex comes with a two-year factory warranty which is a wonderful thing and it has a variety of safety and convenience features like heated grips and seat center stand and protective elements like the aluminum alloy bash guard or skid plate as I call it its curb weight is 509 pounds now it also has the CF Moto app the rider app let me connect and show it to you it's a cool app where you can get some information about the bike as you can see it shows you the fuel how many miles you, have, uh, you got left on the tank. Find the vehicle, as you can see, if you forgot where you parked it and where you're at, it shows the GPS of where the bike is located. It has a list of uh, all the rides that you've taken. So as you can see, I'm at uh, 3,417 miles. That's the total miles of the bike. But if I go to like different days, it gives you the total trip, the trip time, max speed, rapid acceleration, rapid deacceleration, and uh, lean, the total times you lean. As you can see, I'm, <laughs> I'm an aggressive rider. 
Yeah, so driving behavior, if you click on that, it shows you this graph. I guess rapid acceleration is what I do the most. Average daily mileage, total trip, trip time, max speed, 94, rapid acceleration, 89 times. Yeah, I just love the power of the bike, and I take advantage of it, I guess. <laughs> Uh, and then lean times 231, which is uh, pretty cool. So this is uh, the data of your trips and rides. So over here you have historical tracks. So it shows just the you know for every ride, it pretty much records everything. As you can see over here, my last ride was from point A to point B, nine minutes, four miles max speed, lean times, rapid acceleration, etc. Which is cool. I mean, I never really use it, but I guess it's nice to have. And then you have my vehicle, which is all the information of the vehicle and fuel consumption. So I'm at average 36 mpg miles per gallon, which is pretty low for this machine, but that's, I guess, because of my aggressive riding. But yeah, the app is, is good. I really don't use it that much. I was all excited about it when uh, I first uh, started using it, but it's good to have. You also have inspection where it can check all the systems. So it checks the control system, intelligent terminal, engine control system, anti-lock braking system, the ABS, dashboard, etc. So yeah, I guess it could be handy. That's the Riders app, the CF Moto Riders app. So yeah, the CF Moto app, I don't know, not the greatest thing, I'm not sure if it's uh this novelty or useful item. I don't know, maybe some of you might find it useful, uh, but for me, I hardly use it. The only thing I could uh, see it uh, being useful for me, it's the uh, vibration notification. Uh, so if someone touches the bike, the bike, I guess, vibrates, uh, you get a notification on the phone. Uh, to me, that's the biggest thing on the app that I like. But anyways, enough about the app. Uh, Let's keep riding this beauty, and uh, you know what? Let me tell you about the upgrades. It's time for upgrades, where all my paychecks go to. I'm sure a lot of you riders can relate. But real quick, before we start with the upgrades, don't forget, if you like the video so far, click on the thumbs up, the like. It really helps the video and the channel tells the uh, YouTube algorithm gods that the video is worthy and it shows it to other people so I appreciate your help if you uh, like it click the like uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you uh, want to get notified of my future videos click the bell icon and uh, oh 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 shenanigans I don't think that was his fault. I think I'm going a little too fast. Anyways, yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to check out the website, advegle.com. And if you want to join us, uh, the Discord group is uh, advegles.com. Did I just say advegles before? Anyways, my website is advegle.com. The Discord is advegles.com. Come join us. It's free to join. It's where we chat about everything ADV. Camping, get-togethers, different uh, motorcycles. I did, like, different channels for different types of uh, motorcycles, ADV motorcycles. Uh, so, yeah, come join us. Discord, advegles.com. And I started, uh, I started a... Um, merch website for ADV art that I create. It's all digital art that's on that crazy guy. It's all digital art uh, that's printed on clothing, mugs, etc. It is advegle merch.com.
advegoemerch.com. Anything and everything you purchase on that website helps to pay the gas and uh, make more videos. All right, enough with the plug-in. Let me tell you about all the upgrades I did to the Ibex. I'm going to start with the most expensive to the least expensive. I don't want to waste your time with all the $10 AliExpress uh, upgrades. Even though, real quick, I'll just tell you the stuff that I bought, but I won't go into detail uh, for each item. But uh, yeah, let's start with uh, the most expensive to the least expensive. Panniers, the most expensive item upgrade I have, I've got. As you can see, it's pretty pricey. There they are. I got them uh, from the dealer when I purchased the bike. Uh, they're aluminum, good quality, dust proof, waterproof. They're pretty heavy, but very handy and practical. And it's something that I could not resist. I had to have it and I uh, highly recommend them. They're pretty good. They have the um, strap hooks on them and uh, a good place to put all the stickers. <laughs> I'm happy with them and I highly recommend them. CF Moto Original Panniers. The Sumo XT2 by Garmin, that's the new uh, version, uh, just came out summer of uh, 2023. This is from their uh, promo video from the Garmin uh, YouTube channel. It's a great uh, GPS device made for motorcycles, made specifically for off-roads. Um, I didn't use it off-road yet, um, but I'm, so far I'm really happy with it. It's a uh, nice piece of technology. The Zumo X-T2. Good purchase. Um, happy with it. And I put this uh, extension bar to mount it on. The bar I got from um, AliExpress, or I could uh, could probably put other things there on that bar, but uh, it looks really good on the bike, and uh, so far I'm really happy with it, even though I haven't used it that much yet. So uh, the Garmin Zumo XT2. This one is my favorite upgrade up to date. The Dunlop Trailmax Raids, her new shoes, the new Ibex heels. I love these tires. They are phenomenal off-road and on-road. As you can see on their website, uh, Dunlop says it's a 4060 adventure tire, but in all honesty, it feels like a 50-50 tire. It's a wonderful tire off-road and on-road. Just don't forget and keep in mind that the first 500,000 miles until they're broken in, they're a bit louder than uh, they should be, I guess. And they also um, kind of stick to uh, certain lines on the road. So if you know those carved lines on the freeway, uh, they tend to wobble towards them. But that's only until you break it in. Once they're broken in, they're phenomenal. As you can see, the threads on those tires and the knobs, um, they're ready to eat any terrain for breakfast. I highly recommend those tires. The Dunlop Trailmax Raids. The Headlight Guard. As you can see, I got the original one, the CF Moto Headlight Guard. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with that thing. The love part is beautiful, and it does guard the headlight, the whole front, and I think it adds some aggressiveness. But if you can see this part here, believe it or not, it blocks the high beam right behind it. I'm going to turn on the high beam right here and show it to you. So high beam on, and as you can see, it blocks the whole high beam which is unbelievable. I don't know how CF Moto missed that. It's just uh, 
that's a ch made in China moment for me. That's uh, unbelievable. But the headlight itself is great. Uh, it wasn't too hard to install. And again, it looks beautiful. But the hate part w that I have with that is the, the headlight. So I don't know. I'm thinking of cutting that part like leaving a hole there just for the high beam to shine through. Uh, but then I thought, I don't know, maybe I'll just uh, contact my dealer and have him deal with uh, CF Moto. Maybe the dealer will do it. Or, I don't know, I don't think I need to deal with that thing. But anyways, that's the uh, headlight guard, the CF Moto headlight guard. This one's another favorite upgrade that I did, and that is the windshield. As you can see, it's a little bigger, if not much bigger, than the original. Um, but, you know, I'm 6'1", and I had issues with the wind buffering with the small windshield, the original windshield. So I've researched forever until I found this beauty, and it really solved the whole wind, uh, wind buffering issue for me. It's called uh, calci.com. It's a... Uh, mom and pop shop made in USA. Uh, if you go to the website, you click on the Ibex, uh, and you'll see the the different sizes. It has four sizes for different heights. Um, wonderful company. The guys, uh, the owner's name is Mark. Feel free to call him. He'll help you out. But I'm super happy with it. At 80 miles per hour, it feels like I'm sitting in my living room. Zero wind buffer. Okay, any and every ADVer on the planet knows about those mirrors, the double take mirror, the adventure bike mirrors. Uh, me being uh, fairly new to adventure motorcycles, um, it's new to me, just heard of it, but I can't be any happier than I am with these mirrors. They're phenomenal, super strong, sturdy. They add aggressiveness to the bike and they're just uh, beautiful, and they say they're indestructible. Double take mirrors. By far the world's greatest ADV mirrors. The phone mount. This is the second phone mount that I got. This one is by Peak Design. It is uh, beautiful, slick, minimalistic, sturdy, um, it's the second one that I got, actually. Before that, I had the quad lock um, that everyone's familiar with. The infamous quad lock, if you will. Um, as you can see, this one is much slicker, looks nicer. Um, it's one-hand operation. That's what I like about it. And it's magnetic. You just snap it on. It stays on. You take it off with one finger. You take it off. Snaps on. And when you want to take it off, very easy to do. One finger, and it comes off. Compared to the quad lock, which was a nightmare to put it on and off, and that ugly blue tongue. I don't understand who. And the designer department there with quad lock decided to do that tongue uh, in blue, which is an eyesore. Anyways, that's my pet peeve with quad lock. But I'm going to do a giveaway for this quad lock. I'm going to give it away at our uh, Discord. So uh, come join us at adveagles.com. Uh, I have a giveaway uh, channel, and I will give away the uh, quad lock. But Peak Design is the bomb. Highly recommended. Get that and nothing other than that. Okay, from here on out, I'm just going to zip through the uh, rest of the upgrades. Um, so this is the engine guard that I wanted, and I waited forever from CF Moto for the original. Uh, they sell it for $199, 200 bucks. But yeah, I uh, waited for about three months, and it was still back ordered. So I ended up ordering it from Amazon for half the price. Uh, got it two weeks after. It was also shipped from China. And after installing it, I don't know, it looks like the original. Easy install, and it looks great, and I'm happy with it. So that's the engine guard for the Ibex. Next is the fog lights guards. I got that uh, the original CF Moto ones. 
they look beautiful and they're practical and most importantly they protect the fog lights next upgrade that i'm super happy with is the helmet lock it's the lid locks handlebar mount uh, helmet lock made in usa small company phenomenal service it's very minimalist it looks really nice on the handlebar and i'm super happy with it i even gave the guy five star review a well-deserved five star review that's the lid locks helmet lock the next item i got is the off-road foot pegs i got the original cf moto ones um they're much wider than the um uh, the ones that come with the Ibex, uh, they're made out of aluminum and they're phenomenal. I'm really happy with them, especially when you're off-road, you feel very planted and in place and it's definitely worth it um, if you go off-road a lot. If you're not, uh, the originals are perfect for just uh, street riding. Next is the seat cover. I got the seat cover from uh, 800 Adventures. Uh, I'll tell you about my experience with that in a minute but the seat cover itself many years ago i've had uh, a similar seat cover on a scooter uh, that i was riding and uh, it was phenomenal believe it or not and the reason for that is because when it's cold when it rains there is that um if you can see here there's the, like a little bit of a space between you and and the mesh of the seat cover so it uh, you never touch any wet surfaces, basically. So when it rains, you're always sitting on dry surface. And in the summer, there's an airflow that goes through there, which keeps it uh, very cool. So since I had it, I was like, I have to have it on the Ibex. And I got it. And um, it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, no doubt. I would highly recommend you getting it uh, for both seasons, summer and uh, winter. Now, I got it from 800 Adventures, and to be honest, uh, I don't know why, uh, because it's a drop shipping website. Uh, they don't see the product, so it's the same thing as ordering it from uh, AliExpress yourself. Um, that's where they're ordering it from, AliExpress. So that was the first thing I ordered from them. I don't think I'll ever um, go through that website. I'll just go straight to AliExpress if I need something from there. Uh, the big disappointment is, uh, as you can see, uh, it, it's a minor thing, but it's still a disappointment that it doesn't fit, like, um, fully. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. I'm happy with it. It wasn't that expensive, and it's very, very practical. Uh, so, yeah, highly recommend that one, the seat cover. And then the side stand enlarger. I got that from CF Moto, the original and uh, believe it or not, it actually saved me more than once from uh, dropping the bike. Uh, if you're on soft uh, ground like sand or mud and you put it on the stand, uh, you know, the uh, original is small. So it just sinks in and the bike falls. Um, so, yeah, it does enlarge it not by much, but enough to keep the bike standing on soft ground. So it's... Uh, Something small, but I would recommend having it if you're going off-road. Next is the uh, front brake caliper guard, which uh, I got from CF Moto, the original as well. And that one, I think it's not only aesthetic, I think it looks cool, but it also protects the, um, the brake caliper, you know, in case of uh, falls and crashes and whatnot. And then the rear brake uh, reservoir guard, also aesthetic but it's also to protect the reservoir uh the brake oil reservoir okay the denali sound bomb man this horn is loud as hell and it's perfect for what we need as bikers uh you know to wake all those texting driving drivers uh actually i think the second day after i bought the bike I had someone swerve into my lane while they're on the phone. I was beeping, but obviously the original is so flimsy that they didn't even hear me. And then the next day I installed that Denali uh, killer horn. Um, I don't know. It might be a lifesaver. This is really 
I think it's important and I highly recommend it. It's probably the best one after I researched for so long. It is the best horn. Uh, as you can see, the original is still here. When they installed it, they just uh, unhooked the wires from this, from the original, put it on the Denali sound bomb. And uh, yeah, easy fun easy. The radiator grill I got from AliExpress. Put the link below for you. I think it's a good, uh, good to have protection. If you do order one from AliExpress, make sure you have as many openings on the grill. Some of them are really like have, have tiny holes, and then your ibex will have uh, problems breathing. So I'm gonna make sure that you have this open as much as possible. And then I got this. Uh, skid plate additional top skirt that's also from aliexpress just for like flying rocks and, sh and such i don't know maybe for falls too skid plate the ibex comes with it which is very rare and i love that it. it's one of the extras that the ibex comes with just an additional protection that you don't have to spend extra if you get the ibex 800t comes with it um, the 800S, the sport one, doesn't come with the skid plate, but. The clutch and brake levers, I replaced, replaced those to uh, ones with a touch of uh, gold to fit the colors of the rims. Um, and they're a little more comfortable than the original that came with the Ibex. I like them. And the front brake reservoir guard, AliExpress. It's pretty good, does what it's supposed to do. Simple, easy install, and much, much cheaper than the uh, CF Moto one. I like it. Okay, and this is the soft clutch or the two finger clutch. Those uh, two little pieces make it much much easier to press the clutch and believe you me it does make a difference i love it i love it i love it i can't tell you how much i do i really didn't think it would make that much difference but surely enough it does i can do it even with uh, one finger that's how soft it is definitely worth it and it's not that expensive got it from aliexpress and i recommend it And that's that for the upgrades. Uh, pretty much all of them. I did forget uh, a few here and there. But uh, if you see something that you like, you're interested, or you have any questions about anything I mentioned, feel free to ask and share your thoughts. Uh, comment down below or at our uh, Discord, advegles.com. And I do answer all every and all uh, comments and questions and definitely i'm uh, always participating in our discussions on uh, at, on discord so uh this is pretty much it about the upgrades um in the future i'm going to do more videos about uh, gear reviews so that's uh items that are outside the bike i guess you know helmets boots whatnot and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the upgrades. But now, before I tell you my opinion, let me tell you the flaws of the Ibex. The flaws. There aren't many, um, and I would say most of them are like kind of small, not that big of a deal, but I think you should know if uh, you're thinking of getting an Ibex, or if you have one and you're not aware of them. Anyways. The biggest flaw is, uh, I already mentioned, it's the headlight guard uh, that it blocks the, the high beam, which it boggles my mind how they manufactured it like that or designed it like that. To me, that's the biggest thing that annoys the hell out of me, the headlight guard, uh, flaw number one. Flaw number two that also annoys the hell out of me, and hopefully it'll get better in the future that's the back order of parts it's really hard to get 
CF Moto original parts. Uh, first of all, it's hard to get it anywhere else uh, besides your dealer. And second of all, it's, they're always back ordered. Um, every item I ordered, I waited for a month. The panniers I waited for almost three months. It's, it's annoying, hopefully it'll get better in the future because the Ibex is gaining momentum in the United States. Um, it's selling like hotcakes, so hopefully um, it'll, you know, it'll become more popular and we'll have more parts available almost everywhere. Um, another thing is the gas tank. It's a bit small than it should be. It's only five gallons and it's in a gas thirst thirsty engine. So if you're like me, uh, an aggressive rider, I mean, I'm not even that aggressive, but you know, I like to uh, take advantage of the fun engine. So yeah, you feel the, uh, the gas thirsty engine. I do, I guess, I think about, what was it, 30, Five miles per gallon average, which is uh, not the greatest for a motorcycle. And uh, last flaw is the TFT screen. Um, the phone integration it really sucks. I got nothing else to say about it. It's it's terrible. Uh, the phone does connect to it. It takes a minute for it, but. Even after it does, it's such a mess that you wouldn't want to use it. I don't, I don't see anyone using it. It's just all over the place. The navigation is terrible. Um, it doesn't recognize, I would say, 80% of the street names. And it's all in meters. So, yeah, it's uh, the navigation system sucks. The phone integration sucks. I, I used it once and I was like, no, thank you. The biggest thing with the whole uh, TFT screen in the menu, uh, to me anyways, that really bugs me is that the, I mean, it has a, a tire pressure monitoring system, which is awesome. That's why I'm saying it's small things. Sometimes I sound so like spoiled, like um, bringing up those tiny things. But um, anyways, the, there's no PSI. It's only a bar. So you can't change it to PSI to know the the pressure you have to kind of calculate and translate I'm still trying to get used to like you know what does uh, 38 psi mean in, in bar that's what it shows on the screen anyways uh, but the good thing is that you know it's still it gives you it alerts you when uh, the tire pressure is low so you know psi or, or bar it's it's a good thing to have on the screen uh, that notification it, it could be a lifesaver so I do appreciate that. Um, and to navigate the menu, it's uh, tons of button presses. Uh, it's another big flaw. And uh, if you haven't heard it, I heard it from tons of Ibex owners. Uh, for example, you want to turn on the, the heat grips or the heated seat. Uh, you got to click tons of buttons in order to get to that menu, um, which is dangerous if you're doing it while you're riding. Um, I don't know, I've learned the best way to do it is pull over, turn it on or turn it off. The good thing is once you turn it on, like every time you turn off the bike, you get off the bike, when you get back on, it's still on in the same settings. So you don't have to turn it on every time. So cold days, I turned it on and I just left it on for, you know, for the whole time it was cold. So again, it's not that bad, but it's not, uh, the greatest. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, as, yeah, as you can see, the flaws are not that big of a deal, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to wrap this ride up. And uh, don't forget to comment below, tell me your thoughts, ask questions. Um, I am um, by uh, no. Um, means at all. I'm not a uh, pro adv -er. I'm uh, fairly a beginner. Uh, I was a, a street bike rider for many years. Uh, I was absent for many years after an accident and I'm pretty new to ADV so uh, you know if you want to correct me or something that I said or any ideas or you know anything you want to share write it down below or even 
better yet, join us on our Discord group. It's free to join and uh, chit chat. And uh, yeah, the Discord thing is the greatest. We can make some friends, um, plan some meetups. I just posted uh, a new event that's coming up here in Texas. Um, we'll be posting events. If you know of events, come and let us know about it. And that's about it, my peeps. So to wrap it up, my final opinion on the Ibex, if you haven't guessed by now, if you haven't picked up on it, I freaking love it. Love it, love it, love it. I really do. Uh, yeah, it's beyond my expectations for the, the price point. I mean, 10.5, you could probably get it even cheaper now with the 2024s that came out and the Explorer that's about to come out. It's, it's the greatest deal. It, it really is. Uh, you, you can't find anything close to that. Uh, with all the bells and whistles, and it's uh, pretty reliable. I mean, in Europe, it's been out for quite a few years. So when I researched it, I've heard people that had it for, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 miles, and it was still, it was still very reliable and uh, a joy to ride. So yeah, it's, it's a great bike. Um, if you're thinking about it, if there's one thing I can tell you or one thing that you can pick up from this video, stop thinking and go get it. Don't hesitate. Get it and uh, thank me later. Uh, if you're an Ibex owner, uh, share your thoughts. Tell us what you think. And again, join the Discord and jump into the Ibex channel and uh, let's chit chat about it. All right, guys, this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. If you did, please uh, hit like and uh, subscribe. And if you want to see future videos, uh, you can hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload uh, more videos in the future. And the likes help out the channel, help out the video. Uh, just uh, lets the um, algorithm gods know that this video is worthy and it shows it to others. Uh, so it's really appreciated. Um, the likes and comments as well if you have anything you want to say leave a comment down below i reply to each and every comment except the haters and the trolls um, and you can also catch me at our um, discord um, server which uh, is uh, adveagles.com uh, it's free to join and basically i just created a bunch of channels there where we could talk about camping get togethers different adv motorcycles and whatnot um, so come join us there, adveagles.com. And I also have a merch website that I just started with my ADV related art that's on um, mer different merchandise. And that would be adveaglemerch.com. Uh, so any purchase helps uh, to support the channel. Any like, comment, and subscribe helps the channel. So I really appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And I will see you at the next video. So thank you much. I appreciate you again. Peace out.